Ogni tanto ci piace essere piccoli. La speranza è forse. Every now and then we like to be small. The hope is perhaps to rejuvenate, to go back in time, remembering when the world of boating was made of fully inflatable boats with the decks of marine plywood. And if you had a three and a half meter boat with 25 horses, you felt like the master of the sea. The unit we have available today is the Selva GC342. It is a tender, but luxurious, and we will use it to surf on Lake Como. È lungo 335. It is 335 centimeters long, 173 centimeters wide. The tubes, however, are large, 43 centimeters. There is a lot of fiberglass, and the interior space is only 84 centimeters. But look how nice! Hanno creato una sorta di abitacolo. They have created a sort of salon, a protective shell where even passengers who come aboard the yacht dressed formally can sit comfortably. The seats are one, two, three, and four. La console è bassa perché il tender deve entrare nella pancia della mother boat. The console is low because the tender must fit in the belly of the mother boat. The stairs are shaped in order to facilitate boarding and disembarking. In the bow there is a nose with a retractable cleat. The lockers are in the overhead, here amid ships and back aft. Lo hanno motorizzato con un they have powered it by a 40 horsepower outboard Selva, maybe because they want to test my ability to tame it. No, più semplicemente. No, more simply, it is because yacht owners are not as lucky as those who have five or six meter speed boats. Yes, really, because they can't water ski. Instead, with this tender and with this power, you can ski on the water. Il motore è un tre cilindri, 747 centimetri cubici, è di... It is a three-cylinder, 747 cubic centimeter engine. It is sold and serviced by Selva, but is produced by Yamaha. Why is it like this? Simple, the user benefits from an economic advantage, which is even more significant if you purchase the package. That is, the complete boat and engine. Pensate che questo GT 342... Just think, this 342 GT, powered by an outboard Selva, costs as much as other luxury tenders, but without the engine. This place is a delight. Well, the wonders that Italy offers. At sea, on the lake, on the river, everywhere. The important thing is to sail, even with a vessel as small as this. La potenza è forse esagerata, come dice. The power is perhaps a bit exaggerated, as we said, and if you want all these horses, you have to accept all this weight. So when you first begin to accelerate, the boat goes into the wind, the nose raises a bit, but if you fiddle around with it a little, there we go, it lays back down. La superficie del lago oggi è praticamente... The surface of the lake is virtually flat today, not choppy at all, but the air is chilly. Summer weather hasn't actually begun yet, but it is a pleasure to sail. Always. Rispetto ad altri tender di questa stessa misura, il Selva GT 342... Compared to the other tenders of the same size, the Selva 342 GT has a fiberglass hull. It doesn't have the usual canvas bottom with inflatable keel, and this naturally comes with benefits. In short, it is more solid, more durable, and, as the keel does not undergo deformation in the water, it is more hydrodynamically efficient. Then consider if you decide to beach it, that is to arrive on the beach with the dinghy, of course, only where you are able to. The fiberglass hull doesn't get scratched from all of the small stones. I'm surfing 3,600 revs per minute with a speed of 17 knots. Now think, cruising 17 knots on a 3.35 meter boat in total comfort. Plus, at this speed, we are not affected by the fact that all of the weight is on the stern. With only me on board, the bow is completely empty. The structure is already good. Of course, I keep the trim down. Now I carry about 4,000 revs with the engine. 
I'll give a little bit of gas and just touch the trim. The speed has passed 18 knots. Note how well it turns, since the slamming is controlled by these large tubes. I feel perfectly at ease. Now I try to tighten the circle and cut through the wake I have made, because the water is calm and I want to test how this boat behaves if the sea is a little rough. You have to be quick to counter steer, you tend to go in a bit of a spin. The rest is just 335 centimeters long, 173 centimeters wide. In practice, it is almost wider than it is long. For a 40 horsepower engine, the maximum cruising speed is 4,800 RPM, exactly what the tachometer is reading right now, and the speed is 23 knots. Lake Como is a natural spectacle because it alternates between the blue sky, the green of the mountains, and in this season, nature is exploding. It is late spring. Magnificent! And there, in the mountains, when we reach as high as 3,000 meters, there is still snow. It's a magical landscape. Now I try to go up the lake, to go towards the northern end, and to save a little bit of time, I'll do it at full throttle. I put the nose down, then the hull works throughout, from bow to stern, and if I keep the trim in this condition, I can serve at 26 knots in total safety. If you raise the trim a bit, let's see what happens. Push the bow section of the hull, I begin to feel the waves a little, and the speed! Oh, 29! Changes in the speed, as well as trim adjustments on a boat of this size, must always be done gently, of course also put together, because being so small and so powerful, it responds immediately, and you need to have the time to understand what's going on, and then to adjust the rudder, acceleration and trim accordingly. Here at the northern end of Lake Como, there is a lake within the lake. It is a very beautiful natural creek, very pretty, completely surrounded by the vegetation. Let's see. Sapete, non credevo che mi sarei così divertito con questo gommoncino, che in fondo si è rivelato anche you know, I did not think I would enjoy so much this little rubber boat that ultimately proved to be very stable and fast. And I can think of something else. After all, even the owner of a large yacht, when he wants to have close contact with nature, with the water, he must come down from his mega building and board a small boat like this, the Selva GT342, right?